Hey, we're with Harper and Easton. Hey, what are we doing today? Today we are making our great-great-grandmother's biscuits. Don't turn off the channel. Where in Acadiana is Ali Bear. Uh, that tease Al just gave us uh, had me smiling so hard I wanted to cry. And you can, of course, count on our friend Stacy Dempsey of the Frost Apron to come up with fun things for the kiddos to do inside the kitchen. This morning, Al Aber and Alex Verstel join her with some help. So much going on here. We have to have Alex Verstel with us this morning. We've got Stacy Dempsey, Harper, and Easton Duga are here. Hey, guys, what are you going to do? So, we're going to make our great-grandmother's biscuits. Don't turn the channel. <laughs> Not and don't yet. turn the channel. And don't turn the channel. You so were practicing. <laughs> <Let's>, <laughs> You're so cute. Let's get us What's started. The What's the first step? What's the first thing? Okay. So, first, we need to add two cups of flour. We use one cup cake flour and one cup all-purpose flour, but you yeah. can use two cups all-purpose flour if you want. And we also need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. Pour it. Just pour it in. There you go. Nice. And we need a half teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. And a half teaspoon of salt. Easy enough. Very good. Now we've put in our butter. fresh butter that we chopped and put in the freezer. And how okay. much was that? About a half a stick? Yeah. Half a stick? Yeah. All right. That's important, right? To make sure it's chilled. Yes, yes. because it makes our biscuits flaky. Okay. Mm. So you mix that all up with the butter? Um, and we're going to use this oh. pastry knife to cut in the butter. We need the butter to be about a pea size shapes. Oh, pea wow. Pea size shapes. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's a that's a cool device right yes, there. Yes, I've never seen that. I see Al I and I think you were I own one. <laughs> I see, I knew it. I actually own three of them. Mr. Al has every type of kitchen. I don't think utensil. I use it as well as they use it though. They're great. Oh. Very cool. Um if this takes too long and your butter starts to melt, mm -hmm. you can always put it back in the freezer. Oh, oh good great tip. tip there. So we have about a minute left. What is our uh are we good on the butter? Can yes. we add the buttermilk now? Mm -hmm. And how much buttermilk do you use? We need one cup. Okay. One cup. Um, if you don't have buttermilk, you can use milk and then just a tiny bit of vinegar, oh. and that and let it sit for about five minutes, and that makes buttermilk. Wow, wow. this is great. Well, we're gonna mix this up during the break. Yep. Uh, so let's go to break and do the magic of television later on. We're gonna have this already biscuits. Harper and eat. eat. It's great. It's Fantastic.